All right, hey, welcome to Clark's Place. We're going to do some sand rail parts today. And I believe I'll tape all this stuff off. And then I've already scraped them with a knife to get some of the corrosion and stuff off of them. So we'll blast them. Then we'll throw them in the old powder coat and oven and see how they turn out. This is for my buddy Randy. to show you some powder coating here well not powder coating but no not powder so this is kind of just some residue on there and you just you blast and get all that gunk off of there that's like some old powder coating or old something on there we probably won't get it all off but it gets it smooth you can see how that turns white that's taking all that rust off of it Get it as clean as possible, wipe it down, and then she'll be good for powder. And powder even goes over rust. You can kind of see the texture underneath it. But I mean, these are going to be way, way, way cleaner and should turn out pretty nice. So It should, yeah. I don't know what that black stuff was, but it was like... Maybe old powder on it. It's too loud, sorry. Yeah, it was. Okay, here's one of them that he, he just sandblasted. And here's the last one that hasn't been sandblasted. You can really see the difference. Uh, it's got, you know, we don't know what that brown stuff is on there, but the powder, or the, uh, not the powder, the sandblasting, the silica, whatever we have in there, it'll cut it. So I will take this one to him and uh, it will show you some of the ways we hang it and powder coat it okay all right, so we're doing the these are all blasted we're using the prep saw yep. any wax because we may have touched them so the uh the powder will stick perfectly mm -hmm. i think the third fourth one can go here oh he's got daytona parts in there too yeah, yeah. i got a couple of the valve pieces yeah, help. let's put an extra cap on the bottom of these, like tape, just in case the, the there's some grease right, in there that tries one. to drip. Yeah, cover that. If they're all hanging down like that. Yeah. Nope. nope. The other end wider. That works. Cap it off. Cool. All right. Yeah. Put something on it. I will. The lead. <laughs> Clip on the pliers. Yeah. Stop dropping it. You can raise it up some. You say GoPro start recording? Yeah, it's recording. Your lead's off. Go say. <laughs> You're saying raise it up. It's like, I'm already well, I, I, I'm at my absolute length here. I, know, I can't go I'm any just... farther than that. What an excuse. You're going to drop it again. I'm not. There's a ridge I got to get there. I don't know which is the top, which is the bottom, but that's okay. coated pretty well. Okay. Head off. You want to give me that hook? It's burning hot. All right. Is it? Hang on. Okay. 
I'm gonna put, put that one in the back. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, it's piece number two. Did they take the camera? Yeah. Okay, you, you rotate both. towards me, Doug. Come around my way so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Yeah. These are real thin pieces of metal that are plenty hot enough. We wait till the, okay. the part gets little. up to yep. temperature. And then it sticks really, really well and actually starts coating it. Bonding. Okay. I think I like that one too. Take off the clip. Okay, I took your spot, so That's fine. you have to take the other spot. That's good. Good job. Don't bang them into each other. I'm trying not to. Okay, I'm going to grab, take the camera. I'll grab this first one. Careful it doesn't bang. Okay. Yeah. I think we'll remount this box. Yeah. Like remount it out here and give us another foot to play with. Sure. Okay. Oh, this is powder coating nice. And it's quick. Hang on, I'll go the other way. There you go. Should be coated. Like it. All right, just open them up. They are hot. This is gloss black. Yep. They look pretty good. They were. We had them 20 yeah. minutes at we'll grab one around 400 degrees, probably. Put her in the sunshine. Well, heavier than I thought. Yeah. You want to do that? Give me a little. Grab this and kind of rotate it around. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Shiny all over. I like it. It'll go good. It'll grow goo. It'll go good with a ham sandwich. <laughs> all right. I think that's it for those. And then some Daytona parts got. Yeah. These are these are some of the pieces that Hold go under down. the nose. Watch it's hot. Yeah, this one. Yeah. They turn out good too. Yeah. They were stainless. Well, I don't know if they're stainless metal, but yeah. they were clean anyway. I just scuffed them. Got a little bit of sheen of rust on them from having them here cool. in the garage. So, well, that's the Eastwood gloss black on yeah. some steering arms. Yep. Turned out pretty good. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Before and after. Shift rod for VW. Got some boogery looking weld here. I don't know if it's been repaired before or what, but we'll see before and after powder. All right, big reveal. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that looks very nice. Did you say you don't like these for holding these? No, those are terrible. Yeah, these are <laughs> I'm like, this isn't going to grab it. They should do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet, sweet. You can hang it off of uh hang it off of a bolt here. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that looks slick. Can you hang it? You good? Good. <laughs> yeah, good? I like it a lot. These had to go up a little bit higher. These are just his uh These are the uh torque rods for, for the, the trunk. Rod. For the trunk, yeah. Cool, yeah. Eastwood gloss black. Yes, sir. Pays the bills.